Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm here with John Edwards, professional race car driver. Now you've been with Indian Motorsport for how long? Ten years now. It's been a decade. So I'm starting to be one of the historic relics here that we're celebrating at, uh, at Monterey Historics now. So basically ten years. So back when you were 16 or so? <laughs> yeah, so I wish. I wish. So where did you start racing? Was it the Z4? Yeah, so I joined when the Z4 debuted. So um, the E92M3s were going out uh, and the Z4 GTE was coming in. So um, I've been in the, in the Z4, I think I was for three years. And then we had the M6 for two, and then the M8 for was three. It just two years the M6? Maybe three, maybe three. I it seemed like, but maybe I'm thinking of Turner Motors more. Drove it for I don't know, five years. Basically. Yeah, Turner obviously kept it for a lot longer. We came and had the M8 come in, and I think had that for three or four years. But and now you're in the new M4 GT3. Yep, that's right. So we're uh, Connor and I are driving uh, the season for Ray Hall in a one car program. Um, we had two at Daytona and Sebring, and then Connor and I are doing the full season um, yeah. in the M4 GT3. We had our first podium here here at Monterey. That's right. Uh, back in May. So I spent a little bit of hard luck, I think, for you guys after that car issues. Yeah. Yeah, we had, uh, well, we won Watkins Glen. Uh, unfortunately, IMSA didn't see it that way. Oh, but, you won it. Uh, we, we you won, won it. it. We won it. That's, That's how it. I'm going to keep keep referring to it. But, um, yes, yeah, so we, we had a little bit of good momentum going and then had a couple hard races. We had uh, an ECU failure, which is just kind of a freak thing. Last event, which uh, yeah. started right when I left the, the pit box, put off pit speed, and uh, the formation lap, and I had an error right away. So, uh, pretty pretty odd failure and odd timing for the failure. Did you try doing the Fonzie with it? Yeah, times. so I don't know, if, if you watch the race, I ended up stopping on track because I did I a, full, a full power cycle and had to recalibrate the clutch before I could roll again. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I kept having problems. Had, you know, it started out with just a clutch position sensor error, which was affecting my up and down shifts. Um, and then eventually had uh, had ABS faults, which caused a lot of tires. And that, that's when it became a bit unsafe and we had to come in and change it. Unfortunate. So, new program next year coming up, GT. That's the, uh, the M Hybrid V8. It's a mouthful. And I guess the hope are is that you will be racing that next year for him. So fingers crossed, I think, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Obviously, BMW hasn't announced anything for that yet. But, um, you know, regardless, uh, regardless, I'm looking forward to the future of BMW, regardless of, of where we are. Because, right. you know, there's a great lineup of drivers. There's a lot of great series to race in. So the uh, the shiny new toy is definitely the LMD8. I got to take part in some of the sim testing for it. Um, you know, haven't, uh, haven't laid eyes on it in person yet. But uh, your partner. Yeah. Over there, did get the drive. Yeah, he got to drive the the rollout. So Connor and Sheldon Van Linda drove the rollout. And um, what's the feedback like so far? You know, it sounds promising. I mean, obviously a rollout, you're not pushing super hard. Um, obviously, you you do the rollout expecting some issues with sensors and things like that. So they sorted through some stuff and ended up ended up running uh, quite a bit, I guess, at the end of the at the end of the test. So uh, sounds like they're. Uh, they're on the way now with some proper testing in Europe as well, and, uh, and we'll see. Hopefully, it's a race winner next year. Yeah, so it'll debut at the Daytona 24 Hours end of January next year. So I've got flights already booked, so I'll be there. So hopefully, wow, you're ahead of me. I don't even have flights booked yet. Oh, well, if you don't know, he's also a pilot, so he doesn't really need to book a flight. That's on the East Coast. It's a quick job yeah. bringing down from uh, North yeah. Carolina, I think, right? Yeah. All right, so we're here at the Bullocks. Rolex, Monterey Motorsport Region. So the important thing is what you're driving. Now you've done, done this race many times before. Last year, I think, was the... 346, the Carson Stripes. Uh, the flame-throwing car, which uh, was definitely a, a fan favorite. But this year, um, this year behind I have, us, I have the honor uh, to be one of only a handful of people um, who gets to drive this beautiful McLaren F1 cool. GTR. And, fantastic. Uh, it, you know, when I grew up, I think, People well, you were a young play. guy back then when this thing was like, Yeah, so I, I never really, I wasn't into motorsport yet when this thing raced. Um, this raced in 96, so I, I hadn't discovered that motorsport was a possibility yet. But as a kid, when people would ask what's my dream car, the McLaren F1 was just such a unique piece of machinery. Um, you know, the, the center seat with the seat, the two passenger seats behind. Yep. Um, was such a an amazing concept to me. It's like putting you right where you need to be. Um, so I, I was fascinated by that. I always said this is my dream car. Just hope okay. it is. You know, 20 years later, 25 years later, I get to drive the race version. Uh, and 
Flash to V12 engine powered by BMW. That's right. And if you haven't heard it, you need to get to a, get to Monterey and so, here. Yeah, we'll uh, definitely try and get some really video of that for his photos as well. So obviously this car is worth, I guess the yes. term be a shit ton of money. <laughs> so question is, are you nervous about driving? Because I know I would be. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I, I wasn't. Obviously, we've been doing the historics for a while. Yeah. Um, I raced uh, Bill pretty hard here before. I'm a lot nicer to Connor, but I know that Bill only has one speed. So it's on. I, uh, yeah, it's, he's on. Yeah, he's on or off. He's either he's either pushing flat out or he's asleep. So um, I had a lot of fun battling with Bill uh, when I was in the E46 and he was in E92 because, you know, I could pull away from his, um, from his co-driver at the beginning of the race. And then uh, he, he got to chase me down at the end, and I got, got to battle him a little bit. A lot of I will say that's not really happening this weekend, driving this thing. Um, I've got Tom Pazitsky's voice in my head, who's the head of corporate communications and basically in charge of all the budget for this, for this stuff. And uh, I think uh, I'll just have to declare bankruptcy if I mess this car up this weekend. But so we know that's not going to happen. It's going to be a ton of fun, and it's a manual transition car, which is. Okay. It is, yes. You're going back to heel toe and, uh, you know, breaking with the right foot because you got to use the left clutch. And, um, fortunately, you know, as a kid, I had an H pattern uh, street car and I double clutch just for fun, even though it didn't need it. So my, my footwork uh, my footwork isn't a surprise this weekend, but it's definitely a lot of fun to kind of go back to the roots and, and really awesome. see, you know, driving this car is such a visceral experience. And, it, and I think it sort of reminds me what, you know, why we fell in love with motorsport, right? The sound of the car, heel toe, you're working hard to, to just make the thing go, and uh, that's why we love it. So, before we wrap up, and we're going to turn down. So, I'm going to see the race comes to back. John also makes his trip to the road racing. So, what are your favorite tracks in the race? Uh, well, hands down, the North Slide is unlike anything else. And I tell BMW every year, I remind them that whatever program you put me in, I got to do Norman Green. Uh, that's, that's my one. Uh, my one demand, if, if you will. Otherwise, I'm happy to just go do whatever they'll they'll send me to do. But um, so that's a clear number one in the U.S. My favorite track is Watkins Glen. I love the elevation. I love the uh, you know the, the long duration corners. Yeah. After they repaved it as well, it just it brought it even elevated higher, which I hope happens here in Sunita Seca. Uh, we may have come in this this uh, winter. Um, and then for, for a third favorite, you know, I'd, I'd say it's a bit of a toss-up. I love going to Road America. I, I love that track, and I love the town. I love the event. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful place on our lake, uh, and the track's excellent. Uh, but most sport is also really high on the list, right? so kind of a toss-up for, for number three between Road America. Is there, is there a race course that you would like to try but haven't yet? What's sort of like the dream? Well, I think, yeah, I think I think the the main one that I would love to try is Bathurst. Um, oh, yeah. I, I've been pushing for a number of years to, to get in at Bathurst, and obviously with uh, the the challenges with COVID and, and the SRO Intercontinental Series, there's a little less involvement in the past few years. Right. So I'm hoping the next few years that'll change, and, and BMW maybe we'll go back with uh, with a car or two to Bathurst, and I can push to, to drive that. I would say that's top of the list for me. That's awesome. So. You can follow John on Instagram. It's Jay Edwards Racing. But John, thanks for your time, and we're looking forward to see you out there in the F1. Excellent. Anytime. Uh,